Hey guys, I, <laughs> I'm on my way home. I just stopped to drop off some stuff. Um, I've been selling some of this, the kids' baby stuff on one of the local Facebook sale pages. And it's funny because the woman that just bought this, these clothes for me is actually behind me right now. <laughs> I can see her uh, car behind me. It's like, mm, this is weird. Okay, I'm talking to myself. Hi, lady. You did not just buy clothes from a lunatic. A YouTuber, yes, but a lunatic, no. So anyway, uh, I've been taking all of their baby, baby stuff and trying to purge as much as I can because Annalise is in fact our last baby. I had my tubes tied, there will be no more babies. Um, and she is 15 months today actually. So all of the swings and the bouncy seats and that kind of stuff, we don't need anymore. She doesn't use it. Um, any clothes from last summer, both girls have worn them so it makes no sense for me to keep them. They don't fit them. We're not having any more kids. Might as well just sell them and get rid of them. And I participate in one of the local consignment sales here. But uh, that sale's not for another month. So I've been trying to sell what I can and purge what I can. And whatever I can't get sold by then, I will just put in the sale anyway. Because, like, we had four strollers. We had two regular Graco normal strollers. We have one small, like pink and black, kind of lightweight, not really an umbrella stroller. Somewhere between a regular stroller and an umbrella stroller. And then we have the big honking Graco duo glide double stroller monstrosity that's ginormous, but freaking amazing. I love that stroller so much. It just sucks a little bit to try and get it into a uh, back of the Taurus. Now, it does fit. There are a lot of people that tried to tell me it was not going to fit, but the Taurus has got, hi, Bubby, has got an amazingly big trunk. It's just a matter of getting it through that initial hole, <laughs> and it fits fine. So, there was no reason to have four strollers that we could technically fit, but five children in when we only have two kids that need to be in a stroller? And, well, no, one kid that needs to be in a stroller because she very slowly. The two-year-old technically can walk. I mean, there's no reason to say, like, you can't walk. It's just that sometimes she runs off. And when you're trying to keep Anna in one spot and Wyatt in another in a daily, it's just it's a double stroller. Anyway, off topic. Um, yeah, so I, I sold one of the strollers, one of the regular strollers, and I'm still trying to sell the other one. But I'm keeping the double stroller for whenever I have the two girls or the three minions with me so we can go out and do stuff without worrying about a daily running off or like Mayo Clinic appointments and stuff. That's phenomenal for that kind of stuff. Um, and then we kept the little lightweight pink and black one because, again, if I'm going, if I'm taking Annalise for uh, one of her blood draws, it's easy to just throw her in a stroller. If I can find someone to watch the other two kids, I'll just take Anna by herself and put her in that pink stroller. And then if I bring the other kids with me, I take the double stroller. So that was all we needed. And these other two strollers were sitting there doing absolutely nothing. So I wanted to get rid of those. Her infant car seat, we don't need that anymore. That has actually gone through three of the kids. And it started out as Wyatt's. And I just got a for when I had the girls, so it it has more than served its purpose for us, and it's still got another year left before it expires, so that's why I'm kind of trying to push to get that out, that way, if there's anybody else that, you know, wants to use that, they can, we've got two bases for that, so I'd like to get rid of both those bases, like I said, a ton of clothes and bouncy seats, and I gotta gather up all the baby toys and try to get rid of that stuff too, and trying to purge, get it out. There's no sense in storing it anymore. We're not having any more babies. I don't want to keep it. And, you know, it never hurts to have a little extra cash when you're a stay-at-home mom. So. <laughs> so hopefully I will get a pretty decent amount of stuff sold.
thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions about consignment sales, um, Facebook sale pages, selling your kids stuff. I am by far not a pro at it, but I have been doing it for probably about a year and a half now. So let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you guys later.